for being with us here today. Today, my group members and I uh, will be interviewing you for our HR management uh, questions interview session. So this will be recorded for your content purposes. Uh, we will be using them for our assignment purpose, as we have informed. So without further ado, let us start our assignment, our interview session here today. So I will invite Ashley to make the first question. Uh, good morning, Ms. Lee. So mm -hmm. my question for you is, what was the most challenging problem that you faced that is related to your employees that you have faced in your HR work? Okay, morning. So basically, we are the fintech company. Then we are doing merchant or so-called vendor requisition jobs. Huh? And uh, the main challenging issue we are facing is the manpower or agent retention. Okay, the agent tone level is very high. Maybe the young generation today can't really face the challenge on field work like us under the sun and the rain previously. Secondly is to handle the emotional agent. Okay, there are all kinds of bosses around. Some blanja you are some badass. You go there, they are very kind to you. Okay, some one cup of plain water also pun It means that you very uh, how to say you very thirsty under the hot sun. You went there, you approach them, nothing for you. Okay, basically you approach them, you want to recruit them as our vendor actually. So, okay. mm -hmm. Thank you for your answer. Okay. Well, Miss, regarding to the first question, mm -hmm. how did you solve it? Uh, basically, manpower or agent for our company, we are the agency company, is very important. So basically, we always recruit new agents. Okay, forever on recruitment actually. Okay. Because the target I'm given, by the clients is every month changing, every month become higher and higher. That's why we need to re always recruit new agents. Then regarding handling the emotional issue like the, work, the workforce, each team they will have a supervisor. The supervisor role is to handle all those emotional issues. Okay, and then uh, sometimes they even need to go down on the ground there to the field there to help the so-called agent, their agent to solve any issue they face. Okay. So by using these two methods, huh? thank you for Morning, Miss. Morning. How often do you conduct manpower so sweet, planning? Okay, alright. So we conduct our manpower planning once in a month because our client will have a specific area or target group they want to achieve, or sometimes they want to run any promotional activities. So we have to go according to what given by our clients. So our main power has to channel according to their needs and to meet their needs every month. So we do it every month. Well, thank you for okay. Hi, morning. Hi, morning. Hi, morning. Hi, morning. Hi, morning. Uh, what is your company action to taken by to reduce shortage and the supply for the employee? Shortage, huh? Okay. Our agency needs to always make sure our client target is achieved. This is first thing. Our client is our rice pool. Okay, if shortage of manpower, we recruit new agents. Sometimes we even engage with the temporary or part time agents or agency to run promotional activity. Give you one example if like Johnson Street, your family week, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday close. If we run events on there, we engage with college or university students to do the part time job. We pay them every night. Okay, the four hour, five hour, so they'll be there, they are doing whatever they prefer, anything actually given by the clients. So we pay them. So we engage with all, we, all these students, part-time workers, agency to carry our tasks. And then to cover the shortage, lah. the main thing is that we always recruit new agents. Lah. Okay? If surplus, too many people in your company, what will you do? Ah, hello boys and girls, this is our target for this month, higher target. So you got too many time, right? So go and perform your task, hit the target, the higher target. The highest you hit, the more money you get. We pay commission. So you don't mind if there is like a surplus in your team? We don't mind. We, the market is, we call ocean market, blue ocean. It's big enough for everyone to go. We can do whole Malaysia. Okay, we can daily call, we can Insta call, whatever, Facebook call. Everybody is our target. Everybody is our vendor, the Right, thank you. Yes, yeah, my name is Rika. Um, today I want you to answer my question which is related to job analysis. Mm -hmm. My question is, how often do you revise job description, JD and also job specification of your employees? Mm, okay, every half a year. 
okay, or when there's a needs arrive. Why would I say uh, specifically it's every half a year we revise, we have meeting and we revise and then uh, basically if we revise it when needs arrive, when the client changes whatever they want. So we need to, they, they got update changes, any new stuff they want to do, commercial cut or half all this, we need to revise it, our JD and JS and then we of course we will tell our agents accordingly. Right, then we tell them uh, is to let our agent know the current happening in the market and take the action accordingly. Okay, so by revising the JD and JS, right, JD description, uh, J JS is specification, right, we tell our agent what you're supposed to do, where is your target group, we define area, where is your area, how many more you should achieve, we have all the data actually, how many more awesome, so we're supposed to go, which field, which shop, all this actually, so we tell them what to do. So they're supposed to go and do and perform in the class, huh? okay? And then uh, by following whatever given by us, the company, of course they will achieve more and they will get more. Money is important, right? Do more, get more. Okay, so have I answered your question? Uh, yes, thank you. Hi, Miss Morning. Uh, my name is Nuri Nabila. And regarding the first question about job analysis, so I want to ask who will be involved in developing of JD and JS? Three of us, myself as a HR head, my admin head, and the other one, my managing director. Three of us. So basically, what is my role is that to ensure all manpower planning given hit the target given by our clients. First thing, that's my task. And then, uh, the supervisor, uh, my staff, we have two, two, two groups. You know, one is the agent group we have to deal with, and the other group is the supervisor group we have to deal with. And then the supervisor, supervisor will lead the agent. They must know all the know-how actually. Inside the JD and JS, they're already specific what they're supposed to do. So-called supervisor, they are senior. They are not new. So they have been on field sometimes already, for some years already. So they know how to lead the people by all the skill and the know-how. Okay, so they will lead all these people. Okay, in head first. I mean, the task is to train the new agent. When the agent recruit in, they will train them actually face to face, okay, and then uh, support them on all documentation support. Uh, you see, we recruit merchants, so we have paperwork, we have soft copy work, PDF, PDR, all have to using data entry to key into the system. So the admin task will be make sure all these put in place, okay, and then the follow the deadline given up because we need to get all the applications approved by each month. Every month target has to be hit. Okay, so admin task is to make sure everything on place. Then managing director task is to look for good clients, fintech company to cooperate with. And then, and also to make sure all our agents, uh, we recruit, right, go for the direct, uh, correct right, direction, follow the given, the company directions, uh, everybody. So we work as a team in this side. Thank you for answering my okay. question. So today I'm going to ask you a question which is related with the selection process of the employees for your company. So the question is, how do you select the applicants to be your employees? Mm. Basically, after recruitment, uh, anybody also welcome. You can call in, write in, whatever in, okay, to our company. After requ uh, recruitment, right, we will review their previous job first thing. Okay, we will interview their network association. Uh, okay, who which association you know, which cafe you know, which restaurant you know the most. We attach all these network association is very important. We also conduct face to face interviews and on ground trading for one week. Okay, the supervisor will bring you example here the new agents who will bring you to the field, the target area. Okay, so what we want to do uh, on probation uh, one week time to see how fast you can be independent okay we want independent agent huh? our supervisor is not going to bring you down every day and uh, your response to the market the boss might do not know anything so you come and recruit uh, you want to invite them become your vendor so of course you have to explain your concept everything all right they will ask you a to z questions how is your response how's your language proficiency the chinese malay india do you can speak can you speak all this we need to see maybe you can very good in mandarin or very good in english so you see uh, your target uh, which target group you want to go okay we are plan for you and also your initiative from one week time we can see already how long you're going to stay with us so we decide whether we want you or we don't want you 
Okay. So yes, for my yes. question is, if you have been using your button bureau to obtain your employees, what's your company procedure? And for what type of employees and how often do you do this? Uh, we don't use any Jabatan bureau. Okay, we mainly our agent come in by referral. Meaning is that this agent earn a lot of money already, so he will introduce their uncle, their brother, siblings come and join because they want to make some money also, part time or full time. So maybe referral. Okay, by referral. And the second one is by we advertise on Facebook. So Facebook, Instagram. Who read this one? Mostly young people, right? The target employee or agent we want is the young people who can run on field. We have two of them as I think one. Okay, so basically we are using these two sources to bring in our agents. No Jabatan Guru, I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. Me. Thank you, Liz. Now, uh, we have just one last question for you. So do you have any observation or recommendation or suggestion that you would like to share with us as a HR manager? On, uh, throughout your work experience, you have noticed anything interesting that you would like to share with us? Interesting thing is like you go, we, we mainly on ground meeting merchants basically more mostly is on m and side okay like what i say look, sometimes they treat you so well whatever the popular in the shop they want you to try everything is free so you have the nice lunch or nice dinner on the day everything is given by the boss okay what i want to say is that we are agency so our our job mainly on recruitment side actually so every month we hit target like my, i myself of course i make sure my group hit the target when we hit the target we get the most we have tiering system. You hit level one, you get how much? You get hit level two, you get how much? Level three, it's not MLM, but it's three levels only. Understood. <laughs> Do you have any advice for new people uh, which are venturing into the HR field? I don't think your HR field and my HR field is same. Mm -hmm. Your HR field is supposed to be sitting in an office, right? <laughs> uh, are you planning that? Actually, you are sitting in the office, talking to the employee who come knock knock the door and then, oh yeah, what's the problem? So you sit down and solve the problem. Ours is a bit different because we are agency. So we solve problem, maybe we need to go down. Where are you stuck? Huh? Which corner? Huh? Okay, so HR. Dealing with people is fun. Okay, you get to know a lot of people. People are interesting. Mm. I find myself doing an interesting job every day talking to different kind of people and throughout the year you will have many friends who will introduce you friends and friends all this so all the market become our friends it's very interesting you have a lot of sources that work okay. so do you have any skills that you think that is important to become a HR? yeah uh, skills right mm -hmm. communication skills is important yeah, and how you communicate to your boss, how you communicate to your outside the market, the peoples. Okay, they are sometimes well educated. So they ask you all the well educated questions which you never thought of. Okay, sometimes the local party party, they don't know how to ask any question. You need to teach them all this actually. So different different levels. So the communication skill is very important. Sometimes you need to talk in Chinese, in Malay, in English, in Hokkien, in Teju, whatever language they want to you to talk to. But basically, we can survive in Malaysia because we talk Oja. Important are communication. You want, you want to communicate with your agent, right? You need to motivate them, right? Sometimes when they are down. So you need to comfort them. Okay, you need to know the skill, how to talk to them. Okay, when you show them, uh, we, we're talking about closing rate. Huh? When you go to the market, one place, where right, you need to close the deal. So we go to the market, right? Today, I come to your shop. Basically, I want to share with you what I have. I want to close you. Close the deal. So as a supervisor or the leader, you need to show them you definitely close the shop. If I go, I always challenge them. I give you the market now, that's an empty. Eh? So Serato's come back, come back eh? in one month's time. If I go, you got the chance with me. Because I close everybody. So we have to lead by example. Once you become a senior, you need to have the skill to talk, to close the deal, and to show them how. Ask them do together actually, train them together. Show them the confidence, how to talk, you know. Your intonation, your, your tone had to be loud in the market. The boss and list misly. See the smile, also very important. All these skills is throughout the year you learn and you train yourself. You motivate your own self. Once you become a leader, nobody is going to motivate you. Huh? You're going to... Yes, what else, Miss Kanji? Okay, no, nothing. Thank you, Miss Lee, for uh, joining us today. And uh, we'll have a short souvenir session. Okay.